My name is Miles Pennington and I'm Head of Programme of Innovation Design Engineering or IDE as it's called and you are in the degree show which is the graduation show for 2012. IDE is a course where we expect our graduates to take technology and design challenges over complex themes and design new product or service innovations for the real world so they're expected to take on commercial realistic challenges and provide new answers and new ideas for the future. This is the work of Mimi Zhu who was looking at reinventing the camera and what her device does. It's a, it's a camera that is centred around a person's eye. So this camera not only recognises who I am through my iris, it also follows where I'm looking and it will take a photo when I blink. Mimi's not only created a visual model here but also a working prototype. So this device here, if I look into it, it will uh, it'll attempt to recognise who I am through my iris. It'll also track where I'm looking and if I blink, it should take a photograph. My name is Hal Watts, this is my project eSource, and it's a sustainable cable recycling system to be used in developing countries, and it avoids the current practice which is of burning wire to extract the copper by providing a mechanical bicycle powered system which strips up the, the wire and then separates the plastic and the copper. The system is designed to be manufactured out there using the local machines that are available and using all the materials that are found on the dump already. This project is all about gestural interface. Sally, who created this device, uh, is interested in how textiles can be used in the future of electronic interfaces. So TTI is a new sound system that incorporates the controls and the physical response within a flexible surface. So first, I can turn it on and and I can adjust the backwards and forwards function. The physical responses will happen in this space. The next control is volume control. By moving upwards, the volume will turn up and they will respond. This is the Polyfloss team, which is Audrey, Emil, Christoph and Nick. And the Polyfloss team was interested in creating a business around scavenging plastic material out of the waste stream. So what they've created is a machine which takes waste polypropylene chips and turns it uh, through this device into a floss material. And this floss material can then be remoulded in a number of ways to create um, these structurally diverse materials uh, in any number of colours, which can then go on to be produced into a range of different household products or objects.